Hi, I'm Corey with the YMCA of Central Kentucky. Strength training is often thought of as something that is only for people interested in having big, bulky muscles. That is absolutely not the case. Using resistance to build stronger muscles is important for many reasons, such as reducing body fat levels, strengthening bones and protecting joints, and reducing symptoms of diseases such as arthritis. Sometimes going to a gym can be a tough commitment to keep, so I'll walk you through a few exercises that can easily be done in the comfort of your own home with little or no equipment. Now minimum recommendations for strength training in adults is to perform one set that consists of 8 to 12 repetitions of 8 to 10 exercises for all major muscle groups twice per week. Remember that this is only a minimal recommendation and you should always try to do more as you feel able. The first exercise that I will demonstrate is a squat. It will focus primarily on the legs but will absolutely recruit lots of other muscles to assist. To start the move, make sure you get a good strong and steady base with the feet just about shoulder width apart. Next, interlock your fingers and place the palms on the back of your head. This will help with balance and also activate a few of the muscles in your back and shoulders. With your chin and chest held high, you are ready to drop your hips as if you were to sit in an imaginary chair. Only go as low as your knees and hips feel comfortable and then push through your heels to return to a standing position. Try to keep this move as slow and steady as you can. The quicker the motion becomes, the higher the risk of injury becomes. Just about everyone has seen a push-up before. Now I'm going to explain step by step how to properly perform one. This move will work the muscles in your chest as well as the triceps on the back of the upper arm. For starters, drop your knees on the floor and place your hands a few inches outside of your shoulders. Next, raise your knees supporting your body with only your hands and toes. Make sure that your body forms a straight line from your ankles to the top of your head. Now you're ready to get moving by bending at the elbows and dropping your chest towards the floor without actually touching it while keeping your body in that straight line. Push against the floor and raise back to your part starting position. Don't forget to breathe normally while performing these moves so you don't become lightheaded. The next exercise we will do will require one piece of equipment. In order to strengthen the muscles in your back, a simple rubber tube will be a big help. These can be purchased at most sporting goods stores in a variety of thicknesses. To perform a rowing movement with a tube, place it under the arches of your feet that are about shoulder width apart. You can lessen the slack in the tube for a greater challenge if you feel you will need it. Now bend at the hips and knees to create about a 45 degree angle with your torso to the floor. Make sure you keep good posture, your shoulders back, and a flat back. Holding the handles on the tube, slowly draw your elbows up and back while squeezing your shoulder blades together. Extend your arms back down and repeat. This exercise can easily be done with a pair of dumbbells in place of the tubing if that is more convenient to you. Using the tube placed under your arches of your feet again, we are going to work the biceps of the upper arm. This time you will stand straight with your shoulders back and chest out. Then while holding the handles on the tube and keeping your upper arms in place, slowly lift your palms up and towards your shoulders. Lower them back to the ground and repeat. Again, dumbbells are a great alternative to tube if you would rather use them. Now that you know four exercises, you can do at home. You can rotate through these a couple of times in order to meet the recommended eight to 10 exercises. Don't forget to move slowly, breathe normally, and keep good posture throughout each movement so that you will have optimal results. But also remember to push yourself just a little further within your boundaries each week so that you can see the results you wish for. If you do that at least twice every week, you will be on your way to having stronger muscles.